Welcome back to Sleepless Run Place, and today we're doing another news update for March the 3rd, 2023, Battletech News. We got a lot to talk about today. First up is a brand new force pack. This has been rumored for a little while. Seen some stuff from Bishop Steiner, some other people on you on uh, Twitter and various other Patreons and stuff like that, and we now have it finally confirmed from Catalyst that yes, we are, we are getting the proliferation pack. Seven mechs, including the very first Omni mech ever built. These are actually are all the first mechs of different factions. We get the first Fed Sons, the first Lyran, the first Karita, the first Capella, and so forth and so on, is included in this pack, which actually makes it a really cool pack. So we got the Mackie, we got the um, Emir, Battle Axe, Icarus 2, Coyote, Gladiator, and the Fire Bee. So, what a pack we got to have there. Benefit is a lot of these mechs still have updated variants in the more recent eras, so you can still use them, and and more and more you can keep playing with them. I mean, I think the only mech that's really not updated in the modern stuff, I don't think the Emir has a modern variant, which is kind of sad. It could use one. Benefit is, if you, if you read it here, each force pack includes a code for a free digital copy of the Proliferation Cycle Anthology. So, awesome. Also, not an exclusive pack. Just going to be via, uh, available via regular distribution come this spring. Very nice. Next up, we've got the Urban Mech Lance. Again, rumored, pretty much confirmed very highly that we were getting this lance. We got an Urban Mech Lance with four different Urban Mech variants, which is pretty cool. we still got uh, four new Urban Mechs, which for Urban Mech lovers is going to be great. For those of us that tolerate the mech, we'll still take the pack because it does give us different variants. Next up is the Snord's Irregular Assault Lance. Man, the Mercenary Lances have been really heavy toned. I mean, the number of Atlases and Highlanders. I mean, I, I actually am kind of shocked we're getting yet another Highlander again. I mean, this is so many Highlanders. But then again, we've gotten so many Atlases also. All right, well, what do we have in the Snords Irregulars Lance? We've got the Spartan, a Highlander. A guillotine and a Franken mech. And I am actually going to be a bit weird of this and say I'm honestly not thrilled to be getting a Franken mech. I know it's part of Snord's regular things, but I would have preferred just a real battle mech and not a Franken mech. I, I'm not a big fan of the Franken mechs. Just like Thai Uglies or Y Uglies or whatever from Star Wars. My brain says, yeah, they would function about as well as you imagine they would. In other words, you walk them onto the battlefield, and three seconds later, they're going to stop working. They they just don't seem like good stuff to me. I mean, my, my brain just looks at them and goes, yeah, those are just giant failures. You should hit them with one cannon, and the other side arm should just fall off. So, yeah, don't like Frankenmex. Don't like uglies from Star Wars either. That's my opinion. I imagine a lot of people disagree with me on there, but that's my take on it. I'll still get at least a copy of this because I do want the Spartan. I do like the Spartan. And next up is the Battletech Recognition Guide Volume 1 of the Classics. The best built better. The march of technology across the Battletech eras is relentless, but some, some war machines never die. As the ill clan era dawns, the most recognizable battle mechs stand ready to carry your banner into the future, pushing with cutting edge weapons and armor. Recognition Guide Volume 1 Classics collects some of the best-known Intersphere, Clan, and Comstar battle mechs, rebuilt with the latest technology to keep them competitive on modern battlefields. This volume is the companion to Recognition Guide Volume 2 Ill Clan, and contains materials originally published in the best-selling PDF-only Battletech Recognition Guide Ill Clan series. Each machine is fully detailed with an illustration and interviews for its development notes, battle histories, and notable pilots for each unit. Doesn't sound like you're going to be getting anything new in there, sadly. I was kind of hoping you'd see a few more variants of a few new units. I think they'd have highlighted that if we were. Still, the picture's pretty awesome. With the Crusader, Wasp, Phoenix Hawk, and Wolverine on the cover. It's pretty cool looking. It looks like it's PDF only, which kind of makes me sad. I'd have loved this being an actual book. But if there's no uh, announcement on here about you know distribution this spring or whatever, my, my thought is this must be PDF only. Okay. Now we've got some neoprene battle mats. We got two of them. We got Aerobase 1 and Aerobase 2, which is pretty cool. Then we got the the counters pack Alpha Strike, which is for all your Alpha Strike needed counters, including forest, blast templates, narc pod things. Huh. C3 Master and C3 Slave tokens, which is pretty cool. Some more trees. If you got the Alpha Strike book, you'd have gotten some trees in it already. Looks like a lake. More buildings. Then we got Plushy Tech. 
The pirate urban mech released as part of the clan invasion Kickstarter was a huge hit, so a huge effect. We've unleashed a pile of reinforcements. Three new mechs, two, two, two new faction teams for each, including House Liao, Death Commando, Urban Mech. There's Urban Mechs, Phoenix Hawks, Archers, and Atlases. Which is crazy. I mean, if you want your plushy mech, though, there's going to be a, plush, a lot of plushy tech out there. And then we've got the Destiny Scale Marauder. This is going to be available at Adepticon. It's pretty pricey. It's $245. But it's a Destiny scale, so this is big. This sucker's huge. This is, you know, pretty, you know, awesomely sized. I, I love the way it looks. It's freaking fantastic. And I'd love to get one, but I'm not going to be Adepticon. So we'll see what happens after the Adepticon production line. See if they, uh, you know, do something else that may make it into a plastic kit. You can build like a like a 40k Titan or a, not for, a 40k Knight, and we'll see what happens. I'm I'm not expecting a lot to come out of this, but we'll see. Because I honestly I think battle troops would be an amazing idea to do a 30 uh, 28 32 millimeter infantry scale games with a few mechs in the field. I think it'd be fantastic, but we'll see. I I, I just don't expect anything's going to come with that as much as I'd love it. Last up, really? Well, actually not last up. Next to last up, we got the Mercenaries Kickstarter launch parties. Some regions have already got their launch parties in. Some regions don't. And, uh, yeah. So if you're in the southeast of the U.S. or northeast, northwest of the U.S., you've got your locations there. Canada's got its locations. So does Germany. And U.K.'s got one of its two locations. We're still looking for the northeast U.S., the southwest U.S., and south central U.S. to be announced. We'll see what we get out of there. Then... We've got the next premium miniature, which is coming next week, is going to be a multi-pose Phoenix Hawk, which looks pretty cool that you can actually get a Phoenix Hawk that can be posed on the ground like that, with his knee down, which is pretty sweet. We'll have to see what that looks like overall, what the actual mini mini will look like, not just this uh, digital render. And uh, yeah, I'll probably grab myself one of those next week. And we've come to the end of this news video. If you've enjoyed this video, I've been Sleepless Ronan. Please do the typical YouTube things. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. And we'll catch you next time. Sayonara.